Hey guys, guess what? We are not in a cemetery today. Welcome back to the Least Professional Channel on YouTube. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Today we are at the Ohio State Reformatory, also known as the Mansfield Reformatory. Uh, we are going to be staying here all night tonight until 3 a.m. Recording and checking things out, touring the place. Uh, it's a paranormal ghost hunt thing. I don't believe in ghosts, but I've always wanted to visit this place and check it out uh, to be able to tour it. And so this is the perfect opportunity to do that. They have these ghost hunts all throughout the year. Uh, it's usually Friday nights or Saturday nights, so you can book these, you can come and check these out. There's, we're with a bigger group, there's going to be a lot of people here tonight, so I don't know how much I'll be able to record, and it'll be interesting to see how things go. And like I said, I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm here because I've wanted to come here for the past 20 years at least, um, ever since my mom actually broke into this place in the mid-90s, before they were actually bought by the Historical Society here. So this Historical Society bought it up, fixed it, and now gives tours and that kind of stuff. So check out their website. I'll link that in the description down below. And we're gonna get inside and go check this place out. Right now we are in the West Cell Walk. We've taken a tour. We've spent the last couple of hours kind of checking the place out, getting to see some of the hot spots, that kind of thing. So we're gonna check some of that out. I'm also gonna be taking some pictures. I've already taken some, so I'm gonna be taking some more. There's a lot of other groups here, so it's really quiet, really loud at times. So there'll only be certain times that I'll be able to record to actually see if we can, you know, maybe we'll get something. I don't know. We'll find out. So right now we're in the cell block here. And you can see this is where prisoners would have used the bathroom. They would have had a bunk bed over here. There's other cell blocks next door to this one, I think. 43. Huh? We're in cell 43. Oh, we're in cell block 43, which is the on the bottom floor of the west cell block. So, cool, cool place. And this place is awesome. <laughs> I've been wanting to come to this place for so long. So, let's see what else we can find. Oh. It's a B-roll. Oh, like, yeah, I want to check out some of these other cells. Yeah, my biggest question right now is audio because. That one's got a chair. Oh shit. Speaking of audio, my mouth was almost off. That one doesn't have a toilet. They peed on the floor. So we're here today. We're here until 3 a.m. Uh, we got the overnight paranormal experience, so we're checking it out right now. Seeing what we can find, hoping we can find some ghostly stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky. Get something in a picture, get some audio. Um, I'm real interested to see, because of all the microphone and stuff and stuff, if I get any audio of anything on here. Back around. There we go. I don't think you can put that 
on YouTube. What? That. Oh, uh, yes, I can. I thought you couldn't. I absolutely can. Oh, you're not making any money off of it, so. I'm not monetizing it. Ever. If we pay to come back here, I'd do more better. What? Monetize. Monetize? How do you do that? Uh, he's gonna get cleared with the performatory people. Basically when you schedule it, you say, hey, I'm, I'm filming it for YouTube during this. You have to sign off on some stuff. And Waivers and, and agreements. That's a golden toilet. What? Whoa. Oh, is this the one where... Yeah, yeah. this is the one where you film the... And then with the Joe. Yeah. Who was it, JC? No. No, it's Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. So we're standing in the cell right now that Lil Wayne used for one of his videos back in the day. <laughs> Apparently, after he filmed the video, he wound up uh, going to jail. <coughs> he wound up going to jail for drug charges. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. The walls are painted red. We got a gold toilet. Sink. Gold sink. Shelf. Oh my god, we actually have the lightning. Do I? Plug. Oh. I can't believe they allowed them paint it. Everything in one here is cold. That was the one Jay Z's on. And this one was, the one right next to it was, uh, Oh, what was the other one? There's another one that's, that didn't do a video here. I can't remember. This one, not this shiny though. Yeah. The lights are at a different frequency. Those flashlights are at a different frequency. Look, there's a blanket in this one too. I don't know how did you keep warm in that blanket, but it looks like a rug. Was I not recording that entire time? Do what? I don't think I was recording that entire time. I know it is. <laughs> well, just in case I wasn't. <laughs> We're up on the top floor of the West Cell Walk, and that's where... Really, really do not like their to you. From the, from the top floor. So <laughs> inmates would throw people off of the cells. So push somebody off. For snitching. And go all the way down there. Yeah, for snitching, for just, just making them mad in general. I can imagine that. All right, so this is the quietest place that we've found so far. So I'm going to leave this set for a minute and we're going to walk around and see if we catch anything. Hey, look at you. We'll do like they do in the paranormal shows. If anybody's here, make your presence known. Make some noise. I've never had any luck with that. Every haunted place that I've been, I've said, make your presence known, make some noise. Never get anything out of that. Yeah, 
See, to me, that sounds like the Dunnan sound. Yeah, it sounds like the wind. Or outside, like the wind. It doesn't sound like. Uh... Paranormal? Yeah. than it was supposed to be? I don't know. I thought maybe it was me. Well, we're in like the attic right now, so that's part of the reason. I, I thought it was me, because you know, I'm always cold. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go to the cathedral. Huh? Let's go to the church. Okay. I just wanted to give it a point a moment, because this was supposed to be like a really haunted spot. Um, I don't hear anything haunted. I said, uh, I don't hear anything. I'll record on the way out as we go. Maybe I'll catch something. So maybe I don't run myself into these bars. <laughs> we got these cross posts here. That's Not sure funny. what that's for. To hold that up. I guess just to hold the ceiling up. So, so far, I've been, we've just started, so I can't really say much, but I haven't really heard anything spooky yet, although our guide earlier thought he heard something. A couple of the people in the group thought they heard something while they were, we were walking through the main building, so maybe we'll get something when we're walking through the main building. We'll have to come back here later on tonight if it cools down a little bit, because it is really warm up here. There's a lumper. All right, I'm going to shut it off. This is the ultimate ghost detector app. So I think in theory, it's EMS field thing. E EMF field should beep. I should have a way of testing it. I may have to put my light up in it. Yeah. I kind of like this one. So we gotta keep an we gotta keep an eye out for a spike. This is, I wanted to have this set down, there we go. All right, so we're gonna try something here because I see this on the Ghost Hunter shows all the time. And uh, they said this is probably a haunted spot, hopefully. <laughs> if there's anything here, my phone here is an EMF field. So if you just walk up to it, you should be able to adjust it and uh, make it beep. There's people coming. It's Yeah, because it's summer. <laughs> we'll just leave this sit for a minute. At Even least the people it. had taste. Mm -hmm. The colors. <laughs> I love this room. We're at the most haunted prison in the United States and she loves the colors of the room. <laughs> I like no, I like the shape of this room. This is, this is like a castle, I like it. Cool. Wait to see if anything dings it. Just to demonstrate. So I put it up to my light where the battery's at. It does do that. I wonder if I can do is there settings on it? Sorry. Is there settings on this? Calibrate? Next way you sound, spike detects the sound. Keep screen on. Okay. Yeah. 
So in theory, if this works, it would be... What? I was watching that and then all of a sudden I seen a light and I thought it was a, something else. <laughs> you thought it was a ghost? No. <laughs> I was hoping to see something else. You were hoping to see a ghost? Yeah. No? It is really hot up here. This entire place, it's because it's summer, but it's basically cold out though, because it's the 60s. But it's, it's gotten humid outside though. I'm waiting to see if we get any kind of a spike. I don't think we are. Probably not. But not by your hand, it's an electromagnetic field. It's like I was done with this. No, it's going downward. But it's reacting. Basically, it's steady right now, so if something were to go after it. I don't think this is the room. Hmm? I don't think this is the room. You don't think this is the room? No, this room is too nice. So you want to try a different room? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can do that. This is kind of weird, though. Why the hell would you have two light bulb thingies in the wall like that? This is definitely not going to get. I have no idea. You can hear people over there laughing. I do like the I think they got scared. I do like the round this of this room. Yeah, it's cool. And the paint, they had taste. <laughs> Alright, so we're in this room with this chair. Supposedly it doesn't like men. There's a ghost around it. it. Doesn't like to be moved out of the center of the room. And will move itself back to the center of the room if it is moved. So we're in here with the EMF trying to see if we get something on it. So far, bitch's appointment. Like, <laughs> well, it's men that it doesn't like. Here, let me take off my backpack here. Careful, watch my phone. Loves me. And it's going down. So supposedly, there's the ghost in here in this room doesn't like men to sit in his chair, but is fine with women sitting there. So. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn to sit in the chair. Oh, that was my drink. <laughs> no ghost, no ghost. Alright, I'm gonna sit in the chair. See if anything happens. So I've got the uh, EMF mirror down here. So far, no response. Oh, you're, you're one below me, I was 44. Oh, it went down. <laughs> I need to turn this on. Ooh, there we go. So, so far, no response to me sitting in the chair. Not surprising, I will say. Apparently he's not mad enough. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't not not like me. Gotta say for this being the most haunted prison in the, in America, I was kind of hoping for mm, it went down when you said that. I was kinda of hoping for something. Um Yes. Supposedly the most haunted prison. So far I haven't had anything happen. Uh, I've been hoping that something would hit me or do something to show me that it was there, but nothing. So I downloaded the app, this uh, spirit detector app. I'm not getting anything on it yet either. I'm gonna give it time, but it is hot up here. This, this entire building, the top part. We go downstairs, it's fine. It's cool. My glasses are falling off. I'm sweating so bad. Yeah, about the same.
that's full of crap. Hmm? You think what's full of crap? Your meter. So I just wanted to share for a minute what it looks like walking down this place. Oh, this one has bars. Yeah, this one's got bars on the outside so that people couldn't be thrown off. So this is tier six of the east wing, or the east cell block, I guess. Some of these doors are already closed. Um, <laughs> they told us earlier what each tier holds. I can't remember all of them. The only one I can remember is that the bottom level tier one and I think he said the north side one of the sides the cells are a little bit different um, essentially because they would they would keep the lifetime criminals in there and the death row inmates so the people that weren't getting out had no chance of getting out so that they put extra precautions in place for them oh that's why these bars are the way they are no no that was on tier one uh -uh. this is just a design choice Oh my god, I saw a pipe and thought it was something. <laughs> Walked right by that thing right there. Yeah, but these ones give them more opening, you know what I mean? Than the other ones. Yeah, they're a little more open, the way that these are structured. So far, I'm Isn't not going to say... Is that a cabinet or something? Huh? Is that a cabinet? Do what? Are they, oh, there's a cabinet. I thought maybe shelves. air conditioner or something. No, shelves. So, so far, I've got to say, Mansfield Reformatory is really cool. Uh, definitely worth a visit. The only time that you get this kind of unfettered access is for the paranormal tours. Um, but they're definitely worth it. You may or may not catch anything. So far, we haven't, but we've still got a long time to go. It's only like 11 o'clock. So, we've still got several hours that. Uh, anything could happen and I'm hoping that it does I really would love to see something or have something happen <laughs> beyond my ability to explain it oh this one's open yeah this one's open doesn't have anything in it though like the other ones yeah the other ones have a trash can and everything so let me turn this around here so oh my goodness you see the dust oh shit So you can kind of get a feel for what these inmates <laughs> went through. This would not have been a fun place to be. Um, no prison is, obviously, but this is insane. Just like, I can't imagine how bad it would have been to be stuck here day in, day out for any period of time. But yeah, we're going to keep exploring and see what we can find and check it out. And I'll get some footage later of Solitary. We're going to head back down there. Trying to give people time to cycle through. Uh, one thing I will say is that it would have been so much better to have this as a private tour and only have a couple of people that I know here. But uh, maybe we'll see about that. So I stopped, we stopped here just for a minute and uh, <laughs> decided to film because this is kind of a neat little room and I might set up in here for a second because Turn the camera around here. There is a Bible and a flower and a chair set up in this bed. And on top of that, we got a flower over there. Step over my bag into the cell here. And some little candies, which the camera can't quite seem to focus on. Is it really candy? Yes. Is it hard candy? Dad's root beer. The fuck is Old fashioned that? root beer candies. Never heard of that before. Yeah, they're little hard candies. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna set this up here. Down 
I'm not going to set it up there. I'm going to set it down here. My phone's right here. And I'm going to sit here. And how well, goes is the EMF detector is at 15 now. <laughs> I'll set that next. Whoa! Why is it freaking out? What the hell did you do? The shit. I'll turn that down. How do I? What did you do to it? I didn't do shit to it. It's spiking on this bed. Because of the metal I'm assuming? So I pick it back up, it's... Yeah, I get it. Okay, there we go. Turn off the sound. <laughs> wow, that was weird. There was a... Uh, it spiked when I put it on the bed. I think it's because it's metal. Holy crap, they went nuts. Right? But uh, we'll sit here for a minute and see if we get anything in the audio. Maybe we'll get something neat there. Uh, and then, of course, we've got this little EMF thing here, which I haven't seen anything on, except for intentional spikes or spikes that I can explain, like sticking it on the bed right here. I haven't seen anything on it so far. Uh, but I know that it detects EMF fields because... I was able to test it with that. <laughs> My camera keeps seeing your face and trying to capture it to focus. Oh. Because you're standing behind me. This is the quietest that has been all night. Thing. Yeah, it's interesting. What, what, what chapter is it on? Psalm 35. Psalm of David. Oh. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be significant having the Bible open in this one. Maybe nothing comes in here because of that? Maybe that's why we're not getting any ghosts because the ghosts don't come in here because the Bible's open. Mm -hmm. The EMF field isn't doing sh nothing. <coughs> Turn on the motion detector. That's very sensitive. That's because you dust the bed. No, that's, I was testing it to see how sensitive it was. I tapped it to see if it would pick up on the tapping. The idea being that it sits there and if anything affects it, it makes a noise. But I don't think that's going to work either. Which is, I'd rather pay two seventy nine for an app on my phone that doesn't capture things than pay $300 for an EMF detector that doesn't capture things. Just throwing that out there. 
expect to see some kind of electromagnetic thing, but it's not picking anything up. <laughs> Your pants had blue on them. On the floor. floor. Did you say blue? Blue paint. Lift up your bag. Oh, man. The bottom of your bag is all fucked up. This place is messy. Fucked <laughs> up. Supposed to be hot spots where like things happen. I would love just give me a sign if there's something, some kind of ghost. If there is ghosts, I don't believe in ghosts, so prove me wrong. Well, that's probably why you, you ain't getting shit. Well, no, it's because psychologically, if you believe in ghosts or ahead of time, every little thing is gonna be a ghost. Like I'm gonna say that now. Why are you telling me shush? I thought I heard something. People talking. Oh, that's a cell thingy. <laughs> but I mean, I thought I heard water again. There's probably something around here than doing that. There's pipes in these walls. That's crazy. But essentially, the reason why I wanted to come here was, one, because the place fascinates me in the history. It's an amazing history and cruelty and that kind of stuff. But on the other side of that, it's supposed to be the most haunted prison in the USA. And there's been shows that have come, there's been all kinds of other YouTube channels that have gone and, and spent the night here. Ghost Hunters famously did it back in the day and had all kinds of crazy stuff happening. And so I thought, okay, if something's going to happen, of all the times in my life in the past that I've gone ghost hunting and stuff, something would have to happen here with how much activity is reported, and it's supposed to be the most haunted place. So far, nothing has happened. Nothing has pointed me towards a belief in ghosts. Even now, sitting here with this EMF, to, you know, EMF app on the phone, nothing's triggering. Maybe I'll get something on the audio later. Maybe I'll hear something I can't explain. Or maybe I'll see something in a picture. But even then, the problem is, is if you, even if you can't explain it, that doesn't mean that it's a ghost. Like, people who are predetermined, people, people who believe in ghosts already to start with, everything to them becomes a ghost. Which, to me, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. Shall we move on? Yeah. This was a really cool cell, though. It is a cool cell. I mean, if I'm going to spend a few years in any place, I'd do it right here. What the hell you are? <laughs> So now we are down in the solitary confinement. I'm actually in a solitary confinement cell. So, get the bunk here. I'm sitting on the bunk. We have the toilet, toilet and sink. So, uh, supposedly there's a lot of activity down here. Uh, like, I, like I've already said, we haven't found really anything yet. Uh, we were just talking to a couple people outside that said that they. Had hair pulled. Um, a couple people said that they've been touched, that kind of thing. But so far, nothing for <coughs> us. So far, nothing for us. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll give it, give it a few minutes. We'll sit down here and just kind of chill out in solitary confinement. The thing about solitary confinement, and our tour guide was talking about this. 
um, essentially you were supposed to be down here for three days, but they would sometimes extend that and keep people in here for 100 days or 200 days or 300 days. And that time in solitary confinement did not count towards your actual sentence. So if you were down here in solitary confinement for 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 300 days, that time did not count towards your sentence, which <laughs> that that's inhumane to have somebody sit down here. You're not allowed to make any noise. You're not allowed to talk to anybody. You're just supposed to sit here. That would be miserable. And I can't, I can't imagine being a, an inmate sitting down here for that long. See something? No. I was just looking at the... Spiderwebs? No, the keyhole. Oh. <sighs> solitary for 300 days you're losing your mind you're ready to but this isn't what I thought a solitary would be I thought it'd be like all walls no looking out nothing well I mean yeah you got the window there but you can't really see much out of it no I mean like nothing oh you mean like just straight up walls yeah and all white I mean that would make someone go really nutty well in the basement where they had the cell, the cell down there they had a hole basically Solitary where you could where you had that such a circumstance. I mean it was a cage, but like I mean I think it would make you go nuts. All I can see is your light. Oh sorry. <laughs> I think it would make you go nuts. I mean actual nuts. Well yeah, that was kinda of the point. Like that they wanted people to go nuts. Why though? Because then they could keep them in here longer. The guard just love to torture people. Obviously. <laughs> like that was the other thing that they were telling us about the guards. They, um, so basically if you went to the parole, parole board, instead of telling you that you were paroled, they would wait until you got back to your cell and then bring you an envelope with a colored sheet of paper. And the color on the sheet of paper represented whether you were going to get out in a, you know, now or in a month or a year or whatever, or a year or two years. And the guards would pass somebody a sheet telling them they were going to be here for another two years. And then come back later and say, oh, we were just joking. You're getting out. Like that. They did have your food too. Yeah. They had it in solitary here. They would bring your food at different times of day so you didn't know what time of day it was. Which I'm assuming they had to have had those windows covered. There's no way they were letting light in here. No, they would give you breakfast at dinner time. Yeah. They would give you breakfast at dinner time just to screw with you so you didn't know what day it was or how long you'd been in here. And That's that, messed up. Yeah, that would be miserable. And to think that's funny. I don't think that's funny at all. I don't either. I'm itchy. You're itchy? Yeah. Let's walk around solitary. I'll film a little bit while we're walking. That is fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is another cell. <laughs> Somebody just shush. Who is that? What? Shovel. Oh, shovel. Did you say shh? No. Somebody taking pictures or shushing? That sounded like a shutter. <laughs> the first time that it sounded like a shh. Ah, pictures.
themselves are pretty similar. This, I think, was a shower. Is it a shower? That's what it looks like. Oh, it is. There's a shower head. Yeah. Well, it's not like that's awkward. And that's just to fit three people? No, I'm assuming one at a time, I would think. Maybe this is too much shit. Maybe. <laughs> it's going off on a fire out of the toilet. I mean, you got to go to get it go, right? <laughs> coming from somewhere. 